Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It feels so good to be saying that because I have been out of action for a few weeks if you've not noticed. Basically my camera broke completely, like the flip screen on it just went. It was all fuzzy when I turned it on. So obviously had to get it repaired, but that took about three weeks I'd say. Coming up for three weeks, which means I've been out of YouTube and out of action for a really long time. Really affected things actually and kind of got on my nerves and bothered me. So I'm so pleased to be back. Um, and it kind of reminded me of how much I love YouTube and how much I love creating these videos for you. So yeah, it's kind of a positive with a negative, I suppose. So yeah, that's just a brief life update for over the past few weeks. So hopefully I'll get back to producing two to three videos a week. If you haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to hit the little subscribe button because it would mean so much to me. And also go and follow me on Instagram. Whilst I have been away from YouTube, I reached 100,000 Instagram followers and I'm so, so happy about that. Nearly 110,000 now, so that's just crazy. The growth lately has been huge and like such good support from it. So go and follow me on there if you don't already. My handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and I'll link a direct link below so you can go and follow me. So as with all my hauls, I've not gone overboard on pieces. I don't like oversaturating you with things. I've just chosen a few select items that I really really loved from H&M. I was actually going to do a Zara haul but there was just nothing that really took my fancy and as soon as I went on the H&M website I was like basket 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 so um yeah really really like the H&M stock at the moment. I've always shopped at H&M but I feel like in the past year and a half two years they've really upped the game lately so um yeah, I feel like a haul it would make sense. So because I've not got reams and reams of items, I'd rather talk to you about the styling and why I've chosen the piece and why I think it'll integrate with the wardrobe that you already have and why it will integrate with the wardrobe that you're kind of building with the new collection. So yeah, it's not about oversaturating, it's about picking select items that really transition well into your spring wardrobe. And I'm so excited about this collection. So let's start with this top I'm wearing. So I think this might be out of stock now, but I'll still leave the link if I can find it and you know it's worth checking if it's back in stock. It's kind of this utility style linen shirt. It's got the two pockets here and the tie belt here which I actually am going to tie a little bit tighter. It's a little bit like a shacket, so a shirt jacket, but a bit more on the shirt side than the jacket side. So really casual but I think it looks quite smart as well so you could easily dress this up um, in the evening but still look quite cool and like you've not tried too hard. Again you can wear it with jeans like I am wearing now, these are mango jeans. Um, so there's multiple ways you can style this and it'd probably be quite nice layered under you know just a plain white t-shirt, maybe open it up a little bit more and it's such a lovely colour, it's like this stone linen, it feels really nice quality and it's in between a statement piece but also a classic. It looks quite unusual and unique but at the same time really wearable and versatile and really good classic colour to keep in your wardrobe and probably one of those things you can bring out year after year too. So my next is this jacket. So this is, I actually got this in a size 12 um, because I wanted to go a little bit size up because sometimes with these lighter style jackets, I think this was fairly cheap. I'll link it below, but it wasn't like a really expensive blazer. So I think if you're gonna buy a blazer that isn't as expensive as in, quality, um, it's a little bit on the cheaper side of things, then size up. I think that's a really good tip um, to look more expensive. Oversized looks a lot more expensive than something a bit fitted. And I tend to think the slightly cheaper blazers that are a bit more lightweight uh, can fit a bit more snugly. So size up, definitely. I got this in a size 12 and I'm usually about a 10 and I definitely am glad that I got it in the 12. I mean, maybe even a push 14, but 12 is pretty good for me. It's got the tortoise shell buttons and actually this is a much nicer colour than I thought it was online. I thought it was a little bit more khaki green, but it's um, a kind of light lighter springier green. I love this shade, it's so so in at the moment and also I kind of think of it as a neutral. Green's one of those that kind of is classed as a neutral because it's a natural shade. So um, yeah, I just think this looks so classy. There are multiple ways you can wear a blazer. It looks so nice with jeans and some loafers that I've got down here that I'm gonna show you. Actually, it'll go with all the shoes that I'm gonna show you today. And I think with gold jewelry, it's gonna look so good, especially a bit of a tan, some gold jewelry, maybe a basket bag, and I think that'll look 
so nice. Pop some heels with it if you're going out in the evening or flats like lo nice loafers in the daytime. I also love that blazer style with the green on green as it is in the cutaways. I love that tonal dressing. And tonal doesn't need to be beiges or blacks or just one like tone that you think of. It can be any shade. So I love the greens together. I think that looks so nice. And another pair that will probably go with this because it's a little bit of a greenish beige. Perhaps it's a bit, it looks a bit pinkier on camera, but it's a bit more of a greeny beige. Are these trousers. These are such a good shape. They're so flattering. They're straight all the way down. I think they look so expensive. And I always think this looks more expensive, you know, and they've got their fold in the down the middle of the leg. Really good neutral shade to have. They're gonna be perfect for workwear. Again, wear with loafers or like a low block heel. Looks so chic. A nice shirt would look good with that. Crisp white shirt or um, just a plain round neck jumper. Just keep it really simple and elegant. I think that's one of the key trends for this season is just paired right back. And then I love the contrast between tailored trousers and trainers at the weekend. So something like this, um, a white t-shirt, a leather jacket and trainers is gonna look so cool. Or dress it up in the evening, a blazer will look so nice with it. Some kitten heels, I'm, I'm kind of airing towards the lower heels at the moment rather than sky high, but those strappy sandals that are really in at the moment, there's some really nice white ones on Zara, but a lot of other shops are doing them too. I think Mango are doing them. H&M might even do their version like white strappy mid-heel sandals that look really cool with these. I think these are a pair of trousers that are going to take you through every single occasion that you can imagine. I think one thing not to do is rule out tailored trousers as something that's too smart. Like you can wear them casually, don't rule them out as just a smart piece of clothing. You can easily dress them down and I actually think that's when they look the nicest, when they've got that contrast between the really sharp um, tailored trousers and then something casual. So definitely really versatile piece to have. So the next piece is a little bit more of a trend piece. I got this midi skirt in a size medium. It's pleated and like stretchy material. It's got really nice stretchy waistband and the tie here, which is so nice. It doesn't actually kind of untie. It's not like a wrap skirt. You can just pull it up. Um, it does untie, but it doesn't open if you get what I mean. So it's got navies in it. It's got a very dark navy, which could probably pass as black, which is why I've paired it in the cutaway with a black t-shirt. And then this cream, which kind of brings it into the spring season. So although this is a trend piece, there are multiple ways you can wear it. Trainers again will look really good. Love mini midi skirts and trainers as you all will probably know already if you've seen my videos or my Instagram. So yeah, trainers with the t-shirt. I mean, I harp on about t-shirts, but I think there's such power in a plain white or black t-shirt, um, especially with a more trend-led piece. And then also I think if you're feeling a bit more daring for work, this will really look good. Again, with loafers, like I mentioned before, or even some heels and just a plain jumper, like a round neck, lightweight material jumper would look really nice in a navy shade. That's a way of bringing the trends into work, but it's not too out there. And then style it easily right through to the weekend. So this next jacket is a size medium. I thought it was maybe a little bit too big the second I put it on, but then after, you know, getting it on properly, I thought like, wow, I really do love this piece. It's a kind of stony, I'd say a warm pinky stony shade actually. Size medium as I say, two pockets. It's really heavy material so nice and warm for this time of year when it's kind of not cold outside but it's not actually warm yet. So really good lightweight, not lightweight, really good heavyweight spring coat that you can put with a t-shirt if it's a bit cooler or a knit underneath, sorry, a t-shirt if it's a bit warmer or a knit underneath if it's a bit cooler. I think this looks so chic with these trousers that I had before, that all tonal look as I explained earlier. Or again with jeans, looks really cool. It is a casual jacket, so I mean, you're gonna wear it casually, but skinny leather trousers is gonna look really good with this. And I feel like it just looks so cool and effortless. Like just throw this on with lots of gold jewelry, some leather skinny trousers and 
think you're just good to go. It's got an effortless, cool vibe, but also quite chic, and I think that's because of the colour of it. But yeah, really, really love that jacket. So my next piece are these green trousers, which I styled with the blazer before. It's not the same shade of green, but I don't think that matters. I think that actually looks better um, when you're tonal dressing. But green, again, like I said, it is, it is a neutral shade. You can wear it with loads of different colours. And brown and green look really nice together. And all of these shades, I actually think pretty much everything I've bought today goes with each other, pretty much, apart from maybe the skirt. But everything, but that is a bit more of a statement trend piece. But everything kind of can match, mix and match in some way or another. I think with a nice brown leather belt with a gold um, buckle will look really good. Again, perfect trousers in the same way as these. Perfect trousers to dress up, perfect trousers to wear to work, perfect trousers to wear casually. There are just so many ways um, that you can wear these. And I actually did. They're not too dissimilar to my car keys, although they were a bit more casual, that I did for Gap. Um, and I did a whole video on how to style them. So you could probably get some ideas to wear something like this in that video as well. So then finally for the clothes is this size medium blouse. It's got the ruffled neck here. There you go. Really nice ruffled neck. And it's this stony colour again fitting in with our shades, our palettes um, for this haul. I think what's really prominent in this haul and kind of in spring fashion in general is that really natural look and this fabric kind of fits that bill. It's got this slim line running through it. Really casual, really chic and effortless but it looked lovely in the evenings as it would with jeans in the daytime. As I say, what I'm really noticing is that clothes are very casual, very oversized, billowy, relaxed and then you can dress that up with accessories like I say some really bright gold jewelry or some earrings a bit like these these are from mango I don't know if you can see them properly they're from mango and they were actually in a recent mango haul um, so I'll leave that link below so you can go over to the haul and shop these as well but some earrings like this and that's how you dress an outfit up and down and then again just shove some trainers on and you can wear this in such a relaxed and casual way so that is it for the clothes i'm going to show you i've got three pairs of shoes i'm going to show you these and sort of how i'd be wearing them so the first are these leather they are real leather they were a bit more expensive slip on shoes in a snake skin like brownie snake skin i got these in a size up Definitely, I always think with backless loafers, they always come a bit small. So definitely size up in these because they fit me perfectly, especially when they're pointy toe as well because there's not as much room at the front. And again, it's that natural, neutral vibe that um, seems to be so popular at the moment. I'm gonna wear these with jeans, tailored trousers. These trousers will look really good with it. Also, if you're wearing like leather trousers, I wear um, like leather paper bag style trousers a lot and I think these are gonna look really chic with it. There's something about a pointed toe as well that does look really chic and elegant. It just sort of elongates your leg. So yeah, I think this is gonna look good with loads of different trousers for spring. So next are these loafers. Again, these are real leather. They're so lovely. What size did I get? Oh, I went up a size in these as well, which is good because they're actually a little bit tight, a little bit small, but I think with them being this suede leather, they will stretch a little bit, but they're so comfortable. A really good colour that'll go with absolutely everything. Also a really modern style with this thing going across the top. So like I was saying through the haul, with the trousers or the skirt, if you want to wear them to work, get a pair of loafers like these because they're gonna be so comfy. They'll last you right through the day without your feet hurting. Also smarten up the looks as well, rather than wearing them with trainers. They're quite a good alternative to trainers actually because they're still one of those all day wearable shoes, but they just look a bit smarter and a little bit different. So yeah, easily can wear these with midi skirts, trousers, jeans, midi dresses, etc., etc. So yeah, really good, versatile piece of shoes, but definitely size up in them. But finally, I got these, which I'm not sure whether I'm keeping or not, but I got these in a six and a half, but they're such a lovely color of green, and I think they'd look so good with all these tonal shades. I love block heels at the moment. Block heels or statement heels, you know, like a, um, a lot of shoes have got those balls on as heels, 
Um, so either that or a block heel is really going to be in this season. It, they're not too high either, I'm just not into high heels at the moment. So really good heel height, pretty wearable. They'd be nice for events and things like that. But with them being green, I don't know, I feel like shoes you need to be a bit more neutral to get as much wear as possible out of them. So with them being green, I'm not sure how much wear I can get out of them. But I do really like them, I think they're going to look good with all the green tonal things. As well as maybe just a plain outfit and then you've got the pot of colour on the shoes. So that is everything in the haul today. I hope you've enjoyed it. As you can see, everything goes with everything and that is my aim from my channel. Um, I think I, I kind of reiterate this in every video, but I just want to explain that it's not about buying loads and loads. I obviously buy quite a lot or have things given to me um, because of my job, so it's kind of natural, naturally what happens and what I need to do. But my motto is that you don't have to buy loads and loads and even in this, just pick out the key things that you'd like and that you can see fitting into your wardrobe and your uh, lifestyle rather than going out and buying, you know, 100 new pieces for spring. And because everything goes with everything, there's going to be multiple ways that you can wear all of these things, which is what I aim to achieve as well. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. I've had so much fun doing this. I actually feel like back in the swing of things. I've got my mojo back, I'm a lot more positive now I've got my camera and things are back up and running. So I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I have filming it. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up please if you like it. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. for you now